Why does a robot need a massage chair? That just doesn't make sense. You have no concept of physical comfort or discomfort. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Galaxy Pass Station, a game of which I know absolutely nothing about. No, really, seriously, I haven't the slightest idea. A key showed up in my email, and it said something about Space Station Simulator and building stuff, and I said, sure, what the heck, I'll play that. You guys know as much as I do. In fact, you guys know probably way more than I do, because my viewers usually do. But we're going to check out some Galaxy Pass Station. Well, it's 3020, and the Spherical Core has invented a warp drive for galaxy travel. Excellent, but the Invisible Force Barrier teleported all travelers back to Earth. Okay, so an intergalactic yo-yo is what we've made so far. At the same time, first contact with the galactic government and the aliens occurred, and I think we're building them a space station so we can sell them cheap novelties, because that's what an Earthling would do. So, long story short, the aliens do indeed want us to build a space station in space, and I've got this robot on the phone here. I'm your robot ass assistant sent from the Sphere Corporation. Assist you in everything you asked for. Okay, I'm the chief manager. Oh dear, you've obviously never seen the channel before. First station of the interstellar hub of the solar system, as well as a border control zone. When do the cheap novelties come in, Vintic? Because that's kind of what an Earthling would do. First passengers will arrive soon. You're obliged to check all their documents. Something got mixed up in the corporation. Some of them have the wrong photo. Okay. Are we detaining them for questioning? Well, we've barely cracked the space door open. We've already got our first space review. Five stars, I might add. For what? I have no idea. I think the space station is actually empty. And then I've got some basic instructions for moving stuff around. And I'm going to keep that one up there because there's a lot of things going on here. And it's me, so I'm not going to remember any of those. What do we got right now? Looks to me like in a minute, four Earthlings are going to pull up at the space station and they are forgetful, and they're in transit. Okay, what, if anything, do I need to do about that? And more importantly, what, if anything, do I have? A builder drone. Okay, that's the drone space station area there, and they go out and they build stuff. Worker drone. Okay, that looks like a hauler. Delivers batteries, goods, and other resources, and a mini generator, so obviously some power there, and it's noisy. Okay, so it's noisy, and it's not beautiful. It's plus 30 decibels on noise and minus 12 on beauty. And every 20 minutes, it produces 17 ma okie doke. And it consumes whatever those are and money. Gotcha. But we've got power. We have power. Okay, should I be doing anything at all? Largely doing anything at all. Uh, building system is broken or under construction. Okay, so I think I'm just chilling here until these guys show up. Yeah, I'm just chilling here until these guys show up. This is not an Earthling. Okay, I've seen many Earthlings in my time. Not one of them looked like this, Mr. Slew Slew Slew. I'm just going to call you Slew, like right up here. Approval for landing. Our spaceship is ready to venture beyond the solar system. We need to prepare all the galactic paperwork for the Earthlings. I'm a little confused, Slew. Are you like the pilot who is going to pilot the Earthlings elsewhere? I'm not really sure where you fit into the big picture here. While you check their papers, I'll take a walk around the station. Please approve our landing and check their galactic passes. Well, let me see their flight information. They're from Mars, okay, and they're on first charter space line. They have a flight time of one minute. Passengers for four Earthlings, no cargo. Okay, and they're landing. I can't see a reason to reject that unless they're going to murder us, but not 100% sure it's that kind of game. Well, they're here, they're here, they're here, and they all have exclamation marks over their head. Hang on, hang on. Y'all got exclamation marks over your head. That means I need to do something with you. So, Parker. Okay, I could inspect Parker in, I would assume, a relatively non-creepy manner. Just give me some basic stuff here, Parker. You're very satisfied. Your mood is very high. You're lively. You're healthy. Uh, you're satiated. Oh, that's food. Okay, so you are, you have eaten. You could use drink. And you're extremely unhygienic. You stink. And you have parasites? A predisposition to the formation of parasitic hives near him. Okay, hive, the implication there, what I would infer, is that that will produce horrible bugs that will want to murder me. Okay, and there's a little bit of noise around you, a little bit of smell. I think it's primarily you. So you're basically okay. Let me inspect you. Wait, did I just spend money on that? I think I just spent money on that. Okay, ensure there are no errors in the passenger's documents. 
passenger's photograph and race should match the information in the documents. If there are no errors, send him up so he leaves the station. Well, don't we want him to buy things here? I haven't built a gift shop yet, but I certainly plan on it. Okay, so check your... Oh, this is your documents. Okay. Uh, wait, what, why did you stop flashing at me? No, I want to... I want to. I want to check your documents here. Okay. Oh, there we go. I scan you. Gotcha. I scan you. Um, yeah. Broadly, this seems to be Parker. Sure. He seems to be an Earthling. He seems to have a birth date. Most people do. Um. Great. How do I? How do I approve you? Oh, is it up here? Elevator control. Uh. No. No. I want to approve you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, apparently, I did not do well at that because I was very slow. Let's try Avery. Let's see if we can get Avery through a little bit faster. Uh, maybe you won't check on me. I have a gift for you if you let me go. All right, so I'm being bribed by a Cyclops. That is not something I thought would happen when I woke up this morning. Really, it's not. I At no point did I go, huh, I wonder if I'm going to get bribed by a Cyclops today. You're clearly not an Earthling. Oh, what are the what, what, What's going to happen here? So you're going to give me some money. A small gift. I hope we've completed the checks. I don't know, Avery. I'm not opposed to bribery. I want to make that very clear, Avery. Uh, if you swing by again, we can certainly start negotiating. But right now, just because we're in... Avery, it's tutorial time, okay? So just because we're in tutorial time, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of play this one by the books and scan you. Well, your your ID matches up. It says you're a robot, but we were told that, you know, things are all mixed up and you're probably not a robot. Probably not. The scanner is broken. Ah. So I might not even be looking at the right information here. Um. Sure. You know what? Hopefully, hopefully that all works out. I don't think I got my bribe, though. Oh, we're done. All right. Um. So photo, ID, yep, full name, date of birth, species. Okay, I made, I, well... But you told me that it's probably not a robot. That one's kind of on you. All right, I've, I've lost some money there. Okay, who else needs my attention here? That's Avery again. Uh, Taylor. Let's check out Taylor here. What's your deal, kid? Uh, Taylor does indeed look like Taylor. Taylor, you look very nervous. Well, you are under a degree of interrogation. I can see that. Everything else seems to check out, so send Taylor down. Hopefully that worked out okay. Ah, I got my documents done quickly. Therefore, uh, people like that more. Excellent. And you, you're... T dude, wear, like, sunglasses or something. Or sunglass, I guess. You're not hiding the cycle. No, you're not an Earthling. You are not an Earthling, sir. Hayden, I goofed on Avery. I'm not goofing on you. I'm rejecting you, sir. I did it wrong again. Okay. It all checked out, apparently. They're not human. They're clearly not human. He had one eye. He was a Cyclops. All right, so, well, you know what? I'm batting 500 here. I got two right and two wrong. If I were a baseball player, I'd be an all-star. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Bart Simpson. Okay, signal detected from assistant, and all my money just went in and out there. Have you reviewed the documents of the first passenger? Yeah, I did them all, man. I, I did them all. I think you understood little. Yes, I <laughs> welcome to the channel, robot. Uh, the photo in the documents is just a photo. People's hair color and clothing may not match. Yes, I... I do understand that a, a photograph is one specific moment in time in the and they may change. I do get that part. It's just that uh, Vintic, you're a robot. You may not understand this, but quantity of eyes does not generally change throughout a person's life. Quantity of eyes. Now, you could wear maybe colored contacts. You the color of your eyes could change. Okay? Uh, you could put an eye patch on that might hide one of your eyes. But the, the actual quantity of eyes, how many eyes do you have, does not traditionally change unless there's some sort of horrible accident. Well, the robot figured out that I kind of jumped ahead a little bit there and did all of them. You're the chief scientific officer of the Sphere Laboratory from Earth. Okay, can we just slam this into pause mode? When, it's 3020 in this game, when did we evolve... Cyclops sees Cy Cyclopes, Cy multiple, more than one Cyclops. When did we evolve more than one Cyclops? When did the Cyclops race emerge in Earth's history? Because you're telling me, Chief, that you are in fact an Earthling, but you have one eye, singular, one eye in the middle of your head, by the way, not even in a common place that one would expect an eye to be, which is sort of side to side of the nose. 
No, you got one smack dab in the middle and a unibrow. Very unattractive, I might add. But then again, you only have one eye. I know I'm putting a lot into this, Ricardo, but I'm very confused, you see. So by the time we hit 3020, whatever other advances we have made in Earth's history, because it'll be history at that point. I know right now it's future, but then it will be history. Apparently the Cyclops race rises and uh, takes over science? Alrighty, after all that, my Cyclops scientist is encouraging me to go start doing some research tech, so bureaucracy would be a good place to start. Okay, you guys all slow down there, alright? You slow down. So the lab, I got a tech tree here. Galaxy, service, comfort. Well, what's like your first one? Arcade machines? Paintings? This is where decoratives lives. I don't want to do stupid bureaucracy. SETI project. Guys, I'm pretty sure we've discovered intelligent life. I mean, like, not here. Like, elsewhere. Out, outside of the planet. Although it appears there are quite a few of them. Alright, I will go for your very, very dull bureaucracy. And that is going to get me a flight scheduler. So, automated daily spacecraft arrivals management. Alright, my desk. Isolation booth. Staff only. No entry. Gotcha. It's going to cost me 510. Uh, what is my money? 4227. Right on. Um, that's that's not as much money as I might ideally like. Uh, we're doing it. Thank you. We're, we're doing that. We're doing it now. Thank you very much. Okay, turn this all back on. He also said that my little builder bot might be able to build things now. Uh, we can, indeed. Not much. An elevator, a small room, and a medium room. Which were the rejects? I think these were the... No, no, wait. Avery, Avery was in... Oh, I don't remember which one of you I rejected now. Um, just for having a conversation, because it's only a hundred. Let's just do a... Can I not do it up here? Oh, I can do it up there. Uh, yeah, build a small room. I, I just want to see what happens when you do. So, oh, you're going for a nap. You're going for a little robot nap there. Okie dokie. All right, we figured out bureaucracy, and it looks like we've got in ten minutes... Oh, the cargo is coming. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, Ricardo, chill. So, in 10 minutes, I'm getting all of that. My desk and all. Yeah, I'm getting sample items, basically. So, I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Special robots for automating document checks. Oh, yeah, because I clearly suck at it. Yes, you should absolutely put that job over to a robot. Um, show me your flight information. From Mars, 10 minutes away, got my stuff in it, and just cargo. Just no passengers at all. Approve the landing, obviously. I'm not going to turn away furniture. And I can automate passenger identity scanning and whatnot. Build a bureaucrat's desk uh, and the robot that will check the documents. If you don't have time to check documents, create more bureaucrats and hire more clerks. Okay, that's all pretty self-explanatory. Don't forget you need to inspect someone to gather the necessary resources. Okay, I'm, n I'm quite smart, unlike you. And why did I say that? Because you are quite smart, unlike me. Well, my build menu is flashing at me here, so I better get my desk down. Oh, I can kind of put that... doesn't even snap. Cool. I can just kind of put that sort of anywhere. There's a bureaucrat's desk. Isolation booth. Temporary holding cell. Oh, yeah, let's get one of those. Yeah, we'll put it over here in my new room. I think that's just automatically built. I didn't think... I don't think the robot had to do that. We just sort of threw it down there. Um, staff only. Uh, should I put that somewhere? I'm going to hold on to that one. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, right click makes things go away. Good job, game. So I assume now, now my little builder bot here is going to come over and build the bureaucrat's desk, which I assume comes with its own bureaucrat robot. And then I could theoretically build more. Can I do that now? Would you let me do that now? No. I guess I have to get the resources for that. That makes sense. You do need resources to do things. Um, who are you again? Okay, Parker. Uh, talk to me, Parker. What's going on? Uh, this is about working at the station. Oh, hang on. Working at the station? Uh, talk to me about that. Do you need workers? Well, there's no work for you right now, but there could be in the future. I'm glad we had a good talk. Um, can I interrogate you? Just because I, I feel I would like to do that. Um, what's your date of birth? Oh, okay, that's, that's probably correct. Okay, so you, bureaucrat, you're up and running. Per session for visitors. It's going to create garbage. It's going to create... It's going to lower satisfaction. I'm working. Signal detected from Tau Zone Delivery F329. Uh, sure, what's up? Five chairs, one water cooler. Oh, thank you. Th bring them on in, man. Bring them the heck on in. Decoratives, finally. Yeah, we got a massage chair now. Deep in space, let's make sure we've got a, uh, a massage chair. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lots of things just happened there. 
Many, many, many things just happened. Well, clearly I need a bigger room for this nonsense. This, this has got to happen. So I think the rejected guys are up here. These guys were approved, I think. I'm not 100% on this. Let's, um, I need rooms, first of all. Before, oh, wow, all sorts of things are popping up here. So let's get a medium room. And you know what? Another medium room. Now, where, importantly, where does the massage chair go? Oh, dead center right there. Yeah, right off the elevator. You're going to be stressed after that very, very short elevator ride. So let's make sure we've got uh, a massage chair there. I have, what, five of these? I may as well put them down. So there and there. I know my robot's going to have to come in and technically put these in here. Uh, what else? Oh, hang on, hang on. What else did I get? Uh, what's in trade? The water cooler, right on. Uh, well, that should be down here. So you can get a drink of water. And then you can, you know, have um, have somewhere to sit afterwards. And then residence. Ah, wash, stand, and toilet. Thank God we're finally getting around to toilets around here. All right, let's put the toilet at the end here and then the wash stand. Um, I'm going to put it over here in case, well, I could, I could just get another toilet, right? I don't think I'm limited about, about that. So, oh, so many things. All right, uh, garbage bin right by the massage chair because you don't want to get up to go throw something away. You, you want to just have that right there. So the painting. All right, what's this going to do? Plus five beauty. Great. All right, and affected objects additionally provide visitors food. Interesting. And they pay more to use the affected objects. Well, you know what's going to get used is the massage chair. Oh, I can, I can put it anywhere on the wall. Oh, that's fun. Oh, good job. I like that. Um, and then a vase, what will that do? Just plus five beauty and less smell. Uh, can I put that, is that a, it can be a wall item. I should probably put that in the bathroom, right? I'm going to put it over here and just sort of see what happens in a window. Oh, well, let's put some windows up. Window? I, sh I should probably have checked what those do. What does it do? Oh, beauty, beauty up. How about one? Oh, hang on. I should put a bunch of them in the bathroom so anyone flying by can see what's going on in here because that's kind of how I do it around the channel. And I've got another garbage bin, so I'm going to put one in the bathroom there and then maybe I uh, can't quite squeeze it in there. Okay, go. That's a lot of stuff. Go eventually build all of that. You're deadly bored. Deadly boredom. Wow. You're a robot. I'm not even sure you can die but you're going to die of boredom. Now, I noticed down here, I was just kind of bumming around, Taylor here had like a little cloud coming off of him. And I'm wondering, yeah, your hygiene is down to zero. You have no hygiene, none. We are working on a bathroom area. It's gonna take a while, because I've only got the one robot, although he seems to put up stools very, very quickly. Oh yeah, you're right into the massage chair. Could you maybe... I'm trying to be diplomatic about this, Taylor. I'm, I'm really, I'm trying to do this in the polite way. Could you maybe just have a bit of a wash before you get in the massage chair? I mean, I'm, I'm only saying that, Taylor, because like other people have to sit there, man. All right, so we got a new ship coming in. All right, we're going to be very, very good about checking their documents. And by that, I mean, I'm going to leave it up to the robot. Signal detected from Galactic X, and you are the pilot. Corporation has launched an additional charter fight with Earthlings. You are clearly a vampire, by the way. Uh, don't confuse them with robots. Okay. So are they robots or are they not? I'm very fuzzy on this one. Hmm. Devin here wants to just be waved through. Just waved right through. I don't know about that one, Devin. I don't trust any of you. Although, I've been wrong every single time when I didn't trust someone. So you're probably very, very trustworthy. Yes, we're, we're working on the restroom area. The, the toilet thing is going up right now. Uh, did, yeah, here they go. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot of them. Now, oh, hang on. We're doing a thing. Check the visitor's document. Yes, I know about exclamation marks. I've played a game or two in my life. I want to see how much of this the robot can handle. Because I might want to just slap those guys up. I've got important decorating to do. Um, who are you? Compare the photo. Yes, we, we've done this bit. We've totally done this bit. Signal detected. I'm kind of doing a thing here. Factories pr producing goods and spare parts. Valuable resources that require certain items. Okay. Can you please install these? Eventually, Ricardo, eventually. I've got, I'm kind of holding this nice lady up here. You know I get a penalty for time, right? Okay, Taylor, Taylor, check, check. Robot, probably not. Probably, you are not, you're not a robot. Oh, I can do this. 
Okay. Deal comparison not possible. Yeah, because my scanner's still bunk. Um, I'm just going to arbitrarily approve you and hope I did that correctly. I did not do that correctly. Okay, great. Um, the robot should be handling all of this. Uh, yes, I'll build factories. There's a lot going on today. All right, who are you? Zio. Talk to you. You're clearly a cyclops. Clearly a cyclops. Okay, check your things here. I, I know, it says robot. You're probably not. Uh, you're not... I guess we have a Cyclops on Earth, so, um, sure, yeah, you're in. Did I do that correctly? I did not. Oh, I think they kind of wanted the seats up here, which makes a great degree of sense because, you know, this is where you wait for things. Um, the, wow, that is a look you've got going on there in the massage chair. Bet you'd like a massage chair up here. All right, Zio, I already did you, and I did it wrong. Uh, Quinn. Quinn, could you, you kind of cut me some slack on this? There are errors in the documents. Do you take bribes? I do now. Yes. I do, I do now, yes, absolutely, thank you. Thank you for your bribe, I appreciate it. Okay, a factory, you say. So, goods, obviously it's going to be noisy. It's going to produce ten, I think those are Legos. And it stores them, too. And it's going to consume whatever those things are. Can I get, guys, can I get a pop-up on those? DNA, I get that bit. Uh, software reports. Okay, what's the little, like, angel wing thing here? I don't immediately see that up there. Well, probably best I just put this up and hope for the best. Although if I put it up there, and they're super noisy, why don't I put it up here where the robots live? That seems sensible. Put it up there where the robots live. And then the spares factory. I don't know if I could squeak that right in there. No, but I'll build another small room over here, and it could live over there. I should make this employees only. That's what should be going on over here. This should be an employees-only area. Where is that employees-only area? Yes, yeah, staff-only. I want staff-only uh, from, like, here here on. Will that will that do the do the job there? Only staff in there? Should I put up a no entry? Can I put up a no entry here? Boy, that would make my life easy. Well, the robot's doing something because we've got a superhero down here. Oh, it's the pilot. It's Devin. It's Devin. And, um, are you sick? You are sick. Okay, you're losing health, right? I got some DNA for checking you, but I didn't. Oh yeah, you're you're a mess, man. You have zero health. I don't think Devin's gonna out here alive. Uh, we haven't done medical stuff yet, Devin. I'm wicked sorry about that. Um, enjoy a stool. Are you kicking my water cooler? Could you not? Yeah, I gotta get more bathrooms. These guys reek, but you can only use one bathroom at a time here. Uh, where'd Devin go with the kicking? Mr. I like to kick things Devin. Captain Kicky over here. Captain loves to kick McKicks a lot. All right, what's your deal, Chief? Why are you kicking my water cooler? I've only got the one of them. Also, should I be doing anything with these things? So, goods factory. I don't want to move it. I don't want to destroy it. I am observing it. Okay, so just doing things. I assume at some point it's going to say, I did some things. And then I'll have more things. Goods, primarily goods. And then spare parts over here. The spare parts one just got started. Uh, what's your deal? Should I inspect you, Hayden? Um, sure, you look like a Hayden. That, however, does not look like a Hayden. I mean, I maybe a wig. It could be a wig. Um, I, I do this wrong every time. I do this wrong every, every single time I do this. I have been wrong. So, you know what? Sure, approve you. If I'm going to be wrong then I've done it wrong. Well, apparently that's my work done for the day there. Your shift starts at 6, ends at 11. Are you serious? 6 in the morning to 11 at night. Do I not? I mean, you are technically my assistant. It says so right there. Can you not assist a little more than 11 to 6? Soon there won't be enough time for everything. The clock is in the... Yeah, I know. I know what clocks are. Thank you. Okay, so, um... I guess there was a bit of a robot revolution overnight while I was taking a short nap before I went back to work, and robots are free to go wherever their little mechanical robot hearts desire. So robots are cool now. We can let them go anywhere around, well, the galaxy. Oh, and they're even more complicated than your traditional cyborg, so they can easily change the content of their screens. But the placement of their antenna should match. It's all about the antenna. Each robot must have a manufacturing certificate. I am so leaving this up to my bureaucrat robot. Uh, you look like you know what you're doing. I don't know if you do. 
but you look like you know what you're doing. Well, good news, we got a bunch of robots piling in. Uh, right. Oh, breaking news again. I, I've got some robots showing up. I really don't have time to be watching television. Largest online store is conquering space. Head of Tau Zone. I see what you did there. Delivery to Galaxy Pass station is now available. Send any goods in any quantity to the station. You didn't really need to check in on that one. That's not really news. Okay. Where are the... I've got so much to do. Where are the robots that are showing up momentarily? There they are. Found them. Okay, great. Good. Um... Well, you know what? I'm batting zero for zero for zero on this, but sure, let's take a look at Pixis. Okay, Pixis Maxlite N100. Oh, goody. Uh, errors in my documents. You have, you're going to bribe me. Um, I'm going to just try checking you, if only because I want to kind of see how this all goes down. Okay, first off the date, your antenna is in the correct place, both of them. Although those might be, might be flowers. Uh, now... You have a manufacturing date, which we were told to look for. You should not have a date of birth per se, but I'm going to go do that. Uh, click on the area with the date of birth or production for comparison. Ah, it's over here. All right, does that work? Fields match. Okay, I'm already doing better on robots than I did on humans. Uh, let's see. Are you a robot? Um, I don't know where that is here. A uh, robot? Oh no, I, oh no, it, it went away. Uh, no, I don't want to do any of this. I'm just randomly clicking things now. This is great. I can click everything. I didn't realize I could click literally everything here. Um, I, I'm like 40% confident you are indeed the robot you claim to be. I bet I did this wrong. I bet I, I bet I did this wrong. Did I, did, ah, I actually got it right. Okay, I'm better at robots than I am at people. And they all want to bribe me too. This is great. They all want to bribe me. All right, where's your antenna? Show me your antenna. I want to see this. Aha! Aha! Although, wait a minute, though. Are those little solar panels back there, are they antenna? Or is that in the background in space? You, no. No, 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 no. I don't care what you do. First of all, your head is a different shape. And your antenna, clearly not in the right shape. No, none of this matches up, sir. None of this matches up. Did I actually get that one right? Please say yes. Please? I think I got that one right. Okay, this is all looking pretty promising here. Yep, you all, you do seem to be a robot. You do seem to be the robot that's represented there. I'm going to go ahead and approve that one. Having real good luck with robots lately. How'd we do? Okay, so far so good. I'm actually confident enough to turn the game back on. Oh god, there's another call. The phone just does not stop. Ricardo is on my space phone again. Galactic government was founded by a strange race of little people living in their little pyramids. Yeah, we hadn't invented a cyclops at that point, Ricardo. We've researched bureaucracy. The lab is empty. We need to research. I will get over there. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do the best I can, Ricardo. I'm very I'm very very busy first. Okay, Ricardo wants us to get on to this thing, the the search for people that aren't us thing. So, sure. Um go ahead and do that, kid. Go ahead and do that. Now, Ricardo I need to get over and buy stuff because the shop opened. So now we can do the shop thing. All right, so what could I get? I could get another builder drone. A cleaner drone. That sounds very good. I bet we need some of those. How much have I got? Like 5,000? Well, everyone was moaning about seats. Oh, the massage chairs are on sale. All right, I'm going to get some regular stools. Now there's a weight limit to what they will ship me. How? I mean, I see the weight. I get that part. Where down in any of this does it say, you know, four kilograms out of this many kilograms? I'm going to get like five seats. What else you got? What's in items? A vase, a window, garbage bin. That's probably very handy. Let's get this vase. I'm going to get one of these because it's just kind of pretty looking. Uh, show me residence. Ah, another toilet would be outstanding. Yes. Uh, and then bureaucracy. Earthling only. Oh my god, we can discriminate. Right, um, I should get another bureaucrat's desk. That's, ooh, sure, that is pricey. Holy moly, that's a lot of money. Martians only. Wow, this game just got dark. Um, I'm doing it anyway, I'm getting a bureaucrat's desk. Okay, how do I actually say yes, I'd like to own the, go to checkout, there we go. All right, so 3,400 space money. I don't really need the fast delivery. 
Ah, that's where the weight comes in. So max weight on fast delivery is 600 kilograms. Standard delivery is only 12, is more like 1,200 kilograms. 360 to 400 minutes. Yeah, I don't need it that fast. Uh, please select the, oh, pl select the delivery method. Okay, standard delivery, please. Okay, should I maybe get through a few more robots here? You've got a very clearly identifiable antenna. Let's see what you look like. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. I don't even feel the need to go any further than that. Your antenna seemed to match up, so I am going to approve you. Did I do that right? I did, and I didn't ask any unnecessary questions. Standing is killing me. You are a robot. How... How are you feeling physical discomfort? You have no nerves, nerve endings, nothing attached to anything that would... How are you feeling physical discomfort? I would actually like to know the answer to that question. Ah, uh, you. You also seem to broadly check out. I'm just going on antenna now. I'm just taking a, a big stab on antenna. Did I do that one right? Efficiently, quickly, and funny. Well, at least one of those words might apply to me on a good day. Corporation wants station passengers to be satisfied, uh, meet all their needs. All right, so pretty traditional building kind of space station simulator or anything kind of similar to meet people's needs or robots needs as the case may be. Entertainment, more rooms, all that kind of stuff. I'm working on a second toilet, if that helps, Mr. Robot. Study new technologies and gain access to new items. You don't worry about that. I got that covered. Why does a robot need a massage chair? That just doesn't make sense. You have no concept of physical comfort or discomfort. What kind of advanced robots are we making now? Um, how can we send signals into space? Uh, I don't know. You tell me, man. Oh, now we can send signals into space. Let's not, man. I'm wicked busy. I know, you know, you don't want to turn away customers per se, but dude, I am wicked busy around here. You know, I actually expected better from this far in the future, so we're up to 25G for our, um, our, our communications here. I think we just hit like five, didn't we? So 25, that's actually not that big in advance. Uh, what, did you, what is it you want me to do? You want me to do a thing? Uh, wait, I've, I've got cargo. Yeah, I ordered some stuff. Can I have it now? Oh, it's on its way. Okay, great. Build a tower. All right, I will do that. Build something, yep, science-y stuff. All right, a tower. Now, I assume, can I put that outside? Oh, why can I not put it outside? It seems like the most sensible place for it. Well, then I'll put it over here in my sort of generic, I don't really care about things room. These rooms I care about. These rooms I don't care about. It's pretty straightforward. I was randomly clicking and I found the staff lounge. And I don't, I don't know what to do with any of this. That's, that's the exit, I, I understand exiting. Um, show me the terminal. Okay, that's just that terminal again. Oh, show me my guest book. How are my reviews? Um, they, they could be better. Hayden really hated us. Parker, I, I was a little harsh on Parker. That's kind of valid. The robots are digging us. The robots are digging us. I feel we kind of skew this space station towards a, well, I'm going to say a robot-based demographic. And it seems like I've got a broad goal of trying to impress the galaxy with humans and show them that we are worthwhile, which I've done not at all. Uh, I have proven that we are not intelligent, we are not friendly, and we are not useful. This is what happens when you put me in charge of these kinds of things. My assistant's back on the phone. What would you like to tell me now? Don't go into the red with money. <laughs> oh, again. Oh, you've clearly never watched this channel. Uh, what is my money right now? Twenty-three fifty-two. I don't immediately plan on buying anything in the near future, so that might be okay. Um, are we done with... Yeah, we're done with that SETI thing. Yeah, so we could... Establish contact with seven more alien races. Yeah, well, sure, we'll work on that at some point. Um, how about we get something cool, like, I don't know, that. Uh, B-class elevator. Builds elevators up to five levels. Okay. Auxiliary elevators. Uh, build them anywhere, not just in the center. That seems very handy. I need 187 gig to do it. I bet I don't have that. Uh, how about comfort? People like comfort. How about arcade machines? Ooh. Complex plants. Neat. That needs 144 DNA. I'm not going to be able to do any of this. I, I, have, I have, like, none of that, right? I basically, I have 11 DNA. Ooh, I do have an amount of software, though. I could, I could probably get something done in that, in that range. What do I want now? A space engine. Oh, so that's just going to bump up how big the station can be in general. 12 small rooms, 6 medium, or 4 large in a row. 
Okay, so yeah, I could just get bigger station. Base energetics generators. All right. Does anything else require those um, little, little tech points there, the little gig points? Because I'm good at those. I'm not as good at the DNA thing. It's because I'm better at robots, basically. No, actually, it does not. So why don't we get... I get the D-Class space engine. Let's just have the option of getting bigger. Oh, and it looks like I just do that automatically. Okay, great. So we've got that now. And, of course, C would obviously make it bigger. And then we go all the way up to ginormous space station. So I didn't actually need to sit and research that. I just needed to, well, do it and pay for it. Is there anything that's just time to do? Not really. I don't want to spend all of these right now. All right, my order is here. Thank goodness been waiting on this new toilet for ages. All right, get that, get it in play here. Yes, there we go. Yep. I want, uh, how many eyes do you have? You've got three. If you get together with the Cyclops, we could kind of even everything out. Yet you still only have one eyebrow. Interesting, sir. Interesting. So, two eyes, two eyebrows. One eye, one eyebrow. Three eyes, one eyebrow. Explain yourself. All right, well, my stuff's here. So remember, hang on, hang on. Did I did I actually buy another one of the bureaucrat things or did I just pretend I did buy one? All right, so let's put one of you there, like as close as I can get there. I don't need the no entry thing, but I do want seats. Let's put some seats so people can sit here and wait to be checked in. Like, actually leave room. That one doesn't match. That, that doesn't quite match. Can I make that go away? Can I, can I, hang on, I think it's, can I move that? I probably can't move it until it's actually physically there. It's kind of making me a little nuts that that's off center. But in the meantime, let's build uh, that vase over here. And then, how many vases did I get? I get more than one vase? I thought I only ordered one of these things. Oh yeah, no, there is only one of them. That's what I thought. And most importantly, let's get the new toilet up and running. All oh, people are going to love that. Pe well, I mean, one person will love it at a time, hopefully. Um, where did the, the guy who was kicking my water machine go? Did he leave? Good, I didn't like that guy. Well, we found a bunch of signals. So we can choose the Tint Tintukian? Tintukian? The Tin guys. New aliens love to eat well constantly on the move. The Venerians, parallel universe, only beautiful female individuals. Or deflation, or decrease, or all products will be 5% cheaper forever. Forever. Wow. That'd be a huge savings over a long game. Uh, no, obviously we're gonna pick these guys, of course. Oh, we've opened a portal into the anime universe. I see. So Yoko here has popped up on the phone. We are uninvited guests. Don't worry about us. I won't. I won't. Just take care of us. Um, probably, yes. We'll be very kind to you. Approve our landing. Diplomats are waiting. All right. I wonder what their thing is going to be. Hopefully it's Antenna. I'm really good at Antenna. Yep, it's a portal to the anime universe. That's very clear. Uh, Ayane, let's chit-chat to you. Okay, wow. that That's some hair. Right on. So let's check you out here. I notice you have quite a bit of money. I like the sound of that. All right, your hair checks out, although the color is a little different. That's okay. Oh, you have a diplomatic ID. Oh. Well, we probably can't fuss with you, can we? Sure, uh, come on down. Again, you got money, so I'm pretty happy that you're here. Ah, that was wrong. Now, I'm really only good at Antenna Hikuru. So we'll give it a shot, kid. We're gonna try. I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring your diplomatic ID now. Um, click on the area with the visitor. Okay. Yeah, that is good. Okay. How about your date of birth? How's that looking these days? Second field is missing. All right, well, it's right there. Does that work? Fields match. Right on. Uh, Hikuru. Right on. Uh, click on the area you want to compare with. I actually don't know where your name is on all of this, so I'm just going to click there. Not possible. I don't even know what this does, but I'm clicking on it anyway. And apparently you're from Venus. I'm inclined to agree with you. I don't know, Hikoru. What are you, what are you thinking? I'm going to approve you. It's probably wrong. It's usually wrong. I'm only... Oh, I actually did that one right. Okay. I mean, I'm really only good with antenna. I'm glad I've got the second robot in here. Not that I'm letting the second robot do his job, but here we are. Station's going to close soon. Uh, Yori, we got to kind of hustle through this. Um, are you, is that your date of birth? Uh, let's sincerely hope so. 
uh, yeah, you're pretty good there. I'm pretty confident that you're one of the, the Venerian people there. You know what? We got a hustle here, so hopefully that worked out. Uh, yeah, okay, not bad. Now, the Mars folks are here. Apparently, they've been liberated as well. There will be consequences if we don't let them land. So, sure, come on in, man. If you've got antenna, I've got you covered. Martians only have red or blue skin. Okay, mandatory document is a Mars ID. It might be expired. Check the expiration date. So, no antenna. That's... That's going to be a problem for me. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Galaxy Pass Station. Just wanted to come in and check it out. I knew nothing about it apart from the fact that we're building a space station. You know what? This is all right. It's got some good humor. It looks kind of cool. I, I dig it. You know what? I see what we're doing here, and I am okay with that. I'm not answering the phone anymore. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Galaxy Pass Station. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. If you're new to the channel and be just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.